Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. It is Thursday, April 26, 2018. Having a little tea chat here with you. Um, I actually want to talk about a very, very serious subject. What's up, Luce? Um, we're talking about a permanent solution to a temporary problem. So that's the title of the video. And what are we talking about? Well, obviously we're talking about suicide, okay? And uh, there was another young man, a VC or a VC, something like that, who was a Swedish uh, sound guy, uh, 28 years old, just killed himself, okay? And of course his family <coughs> puts up this big thing that his pain is over and all this type of stuff now. What about their pain? What about everybody surrounding that person that has killed themselves, that cares about them, or love them, or their children, or whoever, okay? Uh, what about them? Their pain lingers on. They have a lot of always unanswered questions. So we're going to talk about a couple things with suicide. We'll talk about men's suicide and female suicide. And here's Mr. Luce. Hey, buddy. How are you? Um, not all the time, but probably seven times out of ten, when a woman commits or attempts to commit suicide, it is a cry for attention. Okay, seven times out of ten. Now, if she's serious about it, you're never going to know, and she'll just take care of business. But most of the time, it's an attention-seeking ploy. So, women, please out there, please don't hammer on me, because look at the statistics, and you'll see that it's true. Okay. When men decide to commit suicide. Nine times out of ten, you're never going to know about it, okay? Uh, because when a man makes that decision to commit suicide, he doesn't tell anybody. He doesn't tell his best friend that he's in pain. He doesn't tell anybody. He makes his plan and he carries that plan out. So that's why the success rate for suicides with men is so much higher. Because generally when a man has made that decision to commit suicide, that's the end of the story. So, um, I'm going to go back and I'm going to talk about myself for a minute here. And uh, I don't know if I've shared this before. I don't think that I have. <clears throat> but I'm going to share a story with you. And this is true, guys. 100% true. Um, I went through some stuff as a kid. Not very pleasant stuff. Um, and I'm not going to get into all that. But uh, when I was probably... I was in my early 20s. And I was living with my grandparents. And I was just really distraught at that point in my life. Uh, not very happy. Uh, there was nobody in my life as far as uh, a female or anything like that. And uh, so, no, I'm not putting it down because you can't have any. You can't have any. Um, so, other than the people in my family that cared about me. I really didn't have anybody in my life that I could look to, that I could lean on as far, um, you know, that way. So I remember thinking, I just want this over with. And I was living upstairs in my grandparents' house at the time, and uh, my grandparents were downstairs. And I had a, a rocking chair. And I can remember sitting in this rocking chair, I had a pistol grip 12 gauge shotgun with hollow point slugs. I had the barrel in my mouth, down here with my finger on the trigger, just rocking in, in this chair. Rock, safety's off, rocking in this chair, just thinking, just pull the trigger, just pull the trigger and it'll be over. No more pain, no more suffering, okay? Um, and I, I'm going to tell you what, I'll go back to that in a second. I don't care who you are out there, at some point in your life, you have thought about it. Maybe not to the extreme where you're sitting in a chair with a shotgun in your mouth, but you've thought about it. I think everybody thinks about it at one time or another. And you think of the reasons why not to do it, okay? Um, and some people can't find those reasons, so they carry through. So for me, as I was sitting in this rocking chair with the shotgun in my mouth, thinking of some committing suicide, first thought came to my head, God, what's my mom gonna? How's my mom gonna act when she f finds out? And then I started thinking, my grandfather's gonna be the one to find my body. Now I don't know if anything you guys know anything about hollow point slugs, 
but they would leave a freaking mess. There would have been nothing left of my head. They would have found a body with no head is what they would have found. Hey, hey, hey. Be nice. Buddy and Lucy don't always get along. It's okay. It's okay. Stop. Um, so, I started thinking, what, what, well, how would they react if they found my body? And I said, I, I can't do that to them. I can't. Because that wasn't right. So I didn't do it. Okay? And uh, it's probably a couple days later, I was screwing around and there was something out the window. And I took that shotgun and I shot at something out the window from the second story. And this is something that will re resonate with me and live with me forever. Um, as long as I live, I hear this running. And the bottom of the stairs opens, opens up and it's my grandfather. And he goes, Ed? And the way he said it, he thought I killed myself. Okay, because I was at that, at that point, guys. I really, truly was. And everybody else in the family knew about it. They just don't know how to deal with it. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm okay, Grandpa. I said, I just shot at something out the window. And he was like, oh, okay. And I could just hear that relief in his voice. And God, that just, to this day, like I said, I will never forget that. And uh, But the thing is, you know, Obviously, I did not kill myself. I'm still here at 52 now. And I'll tell you what, it's like life is so, so precious and it is so worth living. And anybody that's out there that is com contemplating suicide, there is somebody out there that cares about you, okay? One way or another, you know, maybe all your family's dead or something to that effect and you feel like you don't have anybody. There's, there's people who care, okay? Um, it could be a complete stranger that you have no idea that cares about you. And, um, you know, so suicide is not the answer. Uh, seek help. Talk to somebody. Find out what you got to do. Um, you know, we all go through stuff, guys. All of us. I mean, you know, I'm a very positive and I'm a very happy person for the most part. I have my crap that I got to deal with. We all do. We all have stuff that we have to deal with in life. All of us. I don't care. You you show me the happiest, go luckiest person in the world. There's something that they are dealing with in their life. Okay. It's how you deal with it and how you move forward from it, and it's how you take care of things. Okay. That's what it realistically comes down to. And those thoughts. It's a temporary thing. You know, life will get better. Uh, you know, so suicide is definitely not the answer. And um, I encourage anybody that's having those thoughts, call somebody, talk to somebody. Uh, you know, look for that support because it's out there. I mean, you can call the, the hotlines. There's hotlines, the suicide prevention hotlines, and they're going to help you. They're going to steer you in the direction to get to somebody that, that you can talk to. You have to be able to work out your problems. Here's the problem, too, with men. A lot of times, men, we internalize things. We keep things to ourselves. We don't share anything, okay? And that is a problem because it'll eat you alive. You have to be able, number one, you first of all, you have to be able to let things go, okay? And that's one of the big things that I've learned in my life. You have to let things go. Things that you don't have control over with, you know, you just have to let it go. So it's, uh, you know, it, it's it's very difficult. It really is. And it's, and it's not an easy subject to talk about. And, you know, I, I share so much of my life with you guys through uh, YouTube here. But this is something that I think was really, really important that I wanted to share because I think we've all been there. All of us have had those thoughts. Um, there's people out there that have attempted to commit suicide, okay? Um, and maybe you really, truly did make an attempt to do it, you know, and not just for attention. And, and please, ladies, don't hammer on me because I know some of you that, you know, maybe, you know, but a lot of times when women do it, they do it for attention. Okay, it's a cry for help is what it is. Realistically, that's that's what it is. I'm suffering and I'm in pain and I need help. So this is how I'm going to demonstrate that I need help. You know, and unfortunately, sometimes those demonstrations of I need help ends up being an accidental suicide. Uh, that happens a lot as well. Okay, and uh, like I said, life is so short and it is so precious and it is so beautiful. And if you take that time. You find your niche, okay? You find what is your passion, what, 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 what drives you, what gets you up in the morning. And regardless of what that is, and you do that, okay? Um, for me, for a long, long time, it was nursing, okay? And uh, 
I love taking care of people. I love helping people. And uh, so that's kind of what this channel is too. I love to help people. I like to teach people. I want to show people that this is a possible lifestyle, that anybody can do this. So, you know, that, that, so my passion has kind of turned a little bit away from nursing. You get burned out. I'll be honest with you. Anybody that's in nursing out there knows you get burned out. And I've been involved in nursing for 29 years. So a lot, a lot of water under the bridge with nursing. Um, so anyway, get off topic a little bit here. Uh, today, absolutely beautiful. Now it's clear blue skies. A little cloudy this morning, but it cleared up, and it is absolutely gorgeous out. Got a nice little wind going. We've pulled in 4.6 kilowatt hours so far today, which is the highest day so far this year that we've had as far as power. And obviously the day's not over yet. The sun's still out, still hitting the panels. So I, I fully expect us to hit 4.8, hopefully by the end of the day. I think we will. We should probably easily hit that. But uh, so best day of the year so far for solar. And, um, you know, yesterday wasn't as good, obviously, because of the weather. But we still ended up pulling in. What did we pull in yesterday? 2.8, I think we ended up pulling in. So it wasn't actually that horrible considering the fact that it was raining off and on most of the day yesterday. Uh, sorry about the sound yesterday. What happens is when the rain is hitting the camera, it ends up hitting, messing something up with the speakers. And it's a temporary thing, so I apologize for that. I did not even... I don't look at these ahead of time, guys. I make the video, and I put the video up. If I screw up, if I say something wrong, if I misspeak, it's on there, okay? Um, I'm going to do a follow-up video coming up on something else, another topic. But this was an important topic that I really wanted to discuss today. And so, um, you know, I definitely want your feedback on it. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. But like I said, uh, life is so short and it's so precious. And it can be really, really awesome if you let it be. It really can be. And um, so, uh, again, down below will be the link to my website. If you're interested, go check it out. Uh, we just went live yesterday. So uh, I'm very excited again about that. It was like I was like a little kid in a candy store yesterday. But uh, more products are up already today. There will be more stuff added on uh, with the website as well. Okay, so you're going to see more stuff going on there. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's what I wanted to discuss today. Uh, I, I, I thought it's a really important topic and, and something that needed to be discussed. And uh, for myself, I'm very grateful that I did not. Because, you know, realistically, even through all the ups and downs in life, I have had an absolutely wonderful life. Uh, I have two wonderful children because of the decisions that I made. And uh, I love being her dad. It is truly a blessing every day for me to be their father. And uh, I try to be a good example to them. I don't know, I'm not always a good example, but I try. Um, I try to be consistent. And they know that they're safe, that they're taken care of, and they got nothing to worry about. So... Um, anyway, guys, on that note, I'm going to jump off here for now, and uh, I hope everybody has a good day. And like I said, if you are, hey buddy, if you are thinking of suicide, reach out to whoever. You know, somebody, you know, like I said, there's suicide hotlines, there's people out there to care, there really is, okay? So, um, remember guys, hug and kiss the ones you love, tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed, we never know what's going to happen. And remember STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. That's it. Nobody else. Okay? And I'm going to finish my tea. i got like one sip left here. And that's done. And I will see you all tomorrow. Okay? Have a great day. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.